Welcome to Wheeler. We are about to learn the Dios and Don TS of driving in and around other cars by watching this video. Fasten your seatbelt and let's get it on. This occurred in Irvine, Texas. Even if you think you can make it across, don't risk it. Ah, oh, glad you got out in time. Wow, impressive evasion action. Sometimes a jackknife maneuver is the only option to avoid a collision. There was literally no time to react. Pray that all of them are all right. That's why it's so important to keep your tires in good shape. Remember folks, slow and steady wins the race when it comes to navigating those curves. Glad he's okay and able to walk away. Jesus, I'm sad about this. This happened on Interstate 295 in North Carolina. Dash cam owner pulled over behind the Camry and called 911. Oh my, put our phones away. Stay focused all the time. It's frustrating how a person makes mistakes and can cause so much chaos. Stay alert, man. This happened on Hollywood Boulevard, Illinois. They are fine. It was an entirely preventable incident. Stay safe, you guys. No way! It's better to stay calm and find a safe way to turn around than to cause an incident. These cars have so much power the tires can't keep traction. You have to control the accelerator with precision, not just step on it when you want to pass someone, especially in the rain. The suspect tried to elude Florida police officers in a high-speed chase. And don't think getting rid of your clothes could remove your wanted level. This is why it's so important for truck drivers to properly secure their loads. Luckily it didn't turn over on the other car. Whoops, damage was not significant, only trunk and rear bumper, and the car was drivable while parts came in. Oh, stay safe out there, everyone.
Wow, slow down, man. Stay in your lane, mate. Dude, switch to a different lane safely, please. He was just lost in thought and didn't notice the traffic stopped ahead. There were no collisions. <gasps> Who's to blame here? You decide. Oh my god. <gasps> Location is in Victoria, Canada. The other driver was found 100% at fault. Around $7,000 in damages on this G37. We would already know this solution. Whoops. I think Do you think the second guy learned a valuable lesson from the first guy? This solution. I think that oh. Russia is the Don't overlook the condition of your tires. Safety starts with good maintenance. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. Wow, I've never seen anything like this before. Be cautious of those unexpected hazards. Things happen near Justice, Illinois. She receives citations. Is this in downtown Sacramento, California? Dashcam owner traded phone numbers with all parties involved. Stay focused and stay alive. It's as simple as that when you're behind the wheel. Winds must be howling and prompt today. Let's hope the cleanup isn't too overwhelming. Get in the habit of looking in the mirror, man. Hey! Well, perhaps she's blindly following the auto router. This, this is a bike path. You cannot go from here? This is a bike path. No, you can't come from here. Man, it's better late than never. A train collides with a car off Highway 99, California. The driver managed to escape unhurt. Those God. blinking red lights oh mean to God. stop and are supposed oh to wait God. till they go off. Oh my God. Oh I'm glad the train was on the air and not going traveling at speed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Trains can't swerve or stop quickly, so it's up to us to ensure our safety. Oh my God. Things happened in Wingate, North Carolina. No injuries occurred during the incident. The Union County Emergency Management crew is on site to help with the cleanup. It baffles me that some people don't have respect for railroad tracks. Don't do this. Oops. When the weather acts up, it's time to dial back the speed and focus on getting to your destination safely. Oh no! Secure your load, man! On October 3rd, 2023 at 11.19am, 
a pickup truck and trailer went into the signal box. This happened just outside of Romney, West Virginia, at the Route 50 crossing. The driver was very lucky and had a very good reaction. Everyone, stop on a rail crossing in the stoplight. It's common sense. What happened? Why did the glass break? It is the New York Central Heritage Unit. Everyone is okay. Driver of the semi, as well as passenger both made it out in time before the impact. Stay safe out on the rails and always watch out for events like this. Both lanes of FM5 at Oneta Center Point Road are closed after a major railroad collision and train derailment. Some diesel fuel and oil spilled, but the fire department and hazmat crews are on the scene. Everyone is all right. Luckily for the truck driver, the cabin had crossed the tracks. Train crew was not hurt. Truck driver was able to walk away. An incident unfolded in Redding, California on October 4th, 2023, as a semi-truck found itself trapped on a set of railway tracks. The cross was closed for several days. Nobody was hurt. This occurred at a railroad crossing near N Main Street and E Wilson Street, Wingate. The road was closed for an extended time. This case did not involve hazardous materials or injuries. In College Station, Texas, a train collided with a pickup truck stuck on rail. Nobody was injured. Only cross when safe and never park on the tracks. A pickup truck with a trailer was pushed by a train near Mesquite, Texas. That truck driver was really lucky. Usually those trains are going 60 MPH with zero chance of stopping that quickly. Luckily, the driver fled the vehicle before the collision. Be careful out there. The train always wins. number on a blue sign at every crossing. Call it if you have a problem and you don't see a train, so they'll be able to stop in time. He's out. He's the driver. No one was hurt. This is an incident between the cart, loaded with coils, crosses the railway line with a red light and the train, loaded with soy. All I can say is drive carefully. You never know when you encounter a distracted driver. Who's at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. What a nightmare. Glad there were no injuries. Oops, he lost the front when turning in, probably due to cold tires. Glad he's okay. Wow, that is so close. No matter how many times you try, they cut in front of you. Don't do that, bro.
a semi versus a squad car incident was caught on a camera on Ashland Avenue in Chicago. Hope everyone is okay. Wow, not everyone can straighten a car in a skid like that. Well done. Definitely an attention issue. BMW is to blame? Oh, this is why we need to pay attention on the road. Oh, I'm glad they managed to stop in time. Oh dear, no turn signal. It is truly karma. Wow, luckily the tire didn't hit the car. Ugh, what are you doing, man? The street's red light wasn't on and the intersection traffic signal was wrong. Glad everyone is fine. Everyone, you really need to slow down when on a rainy day. If the speed is chosen incorrectly, adding gas provokes the front axle drifting out of turn. <laughs> Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Bro, check your rear view and side mirrors. On a rainy day, you have to drive cautiously because any time can be a hydroplane moment. No! This is why we need securing cargo, everyone! Bro, stop making people uncomfortable in that way. Oh no, I will not pass a car like that because of the late deciders. You must obey traffic signs, it is not an option. Dude, in the construction zone, don't cut ahead of vehicles in front. This intersection took people a few tries to master, but even if you do make a mistake at it, don't back up. A McLaren 720 collided with a parked Audi R8. It appears that the car had more horsepower than he knows how to handle. Oh my, be careful on snowy roads, folks.
What is he thinking? Poor tree. Things happened on the I-40 eastbound, mile marker 153.8 in Arkansas. The driver is okay. Practice patience, and remember that arriving safely at your destination is more important than saving a few minutes of travel time. No way. Out of all the cars, they chose the Merc. That's why you have insurance even if you drive a clunker. Stay safe out there, y'all. similar case. I think you may have fallen asleep at the wheel. Fortunately, they were both okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna call 911. I'm gonna call 911. Be prepared to yield the right of way if required, especially when entering an intersection with no traffic signals or stop signs. Whoops, he needs to judge grip and corners better. At least he is okay. Nobody got injured. You alright, Kyle? Get my hand really. Who was at fault? You decide. This incident was simply a failure to maintain a safe distance. Fortunately, no one got hurt. Approach overpasses with caution, especially if you're unsure about the clearance height. Well, how lucky are they? It was a good thing the dash cam owner didn't stop suddenly. It's time for the power company to get out of there and cut down these dangerous trees. Done, officer. It's time for a serious change in this country, with everyone being held accountable for their actions. Put your hands up! Put your driver tried to convince me that it was this guy's fault. What do you think? Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Even with the road work, there's still plenty of signage. People just ignore them. Maybe they'll learn a lesson. Was he allowed to be on that road?
Don't drink and drive, man. Never tailgate, guy. A general rule of thumb is to follow the three-second rule. Old, but gold. Let's be concerned about preserving the environment, dude. Folks never move in front of the truck that slows down right. No way! Stop doing this, man! Do not imitate this. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video!